and welcome to Retro Roulette. We treat you right. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortione. <laughs> Dane Fortione. <laughs> and Jason Amherst. Hello. <laughs> He's eating. <laughs> He's eating things. Hey, I'm munching hey, on shit. Hey, Jace, you're a diarrhea head. April Fools, you're not a diarrhea head. Um, gentlemen, oh. gentlemen, this episode is airing on April 23rd. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, a little insider baseball. We're recording this on April 1st. Yeah, so. we are recording. <laughs> we're, we're recording this on April Fool's Day. Yes. Uh, but the April Fool's Day episode, which the was actual recorded April months Fool's ago, episode did air today. The actual, yeah. The actual April Fool's episode did not it air. Did. It aired on April first. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> a, that, yeah, was, you know, was a that, long way to go. I to explain that. <laughs> it was a long way to go. You took the scenic route with that explanation. Uh, I did. I, I chose the. Um, I chose the long way home. Oh, Super Tramp. <laughs> thank you. See how's yeah. yeah, Thank you, Super Tramp. Breakfast in America, which is what Jason's mm-hmm. having right now. Uh, in any yeah. event, uh, we got the SNES most, roulette. The oh. most nutritious breakfast of all, trolley. In an effort to in an effort to uh, diversify a little bit, we're gonna we, we haven't stopped doing N sixty four roulette. We'll be alternating with those on record sessions. We're doing SNES roulette now. We're going back to it finally. Um, it's been a bit. I think the last thing we played was that weird mouse uh, SNES mouse game on the ball. That was the last one we played. So that was a good one. That was a good one. I am spinning mm. the wheel. We're gonna find out what we're playing. Oh shit! I think this is, I think this is a Japan exclusive. Okay. I believe this is a Japan exclusive. I guess we'll find out. Cosmo Gang. The video. The, the video, the movie, the book. Precisely. I can't. I can't say I've ever heard of this one. Uh, yeah. That's why, they, that, that's it's, why it's a Japan it, exclusive. It is a Japan exclusive. Uh, it was. I, I do uh, have the. This is the. Uh, the. Uh, a translation that I found of it. Oh, so. hey. There's a special gift in the Discord. Now, chat. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if your software will be as good as my software, but. Oh, uh, yeah. the... oh, I tested it on several different emulators, and they worked. Okay, so... well, they, they won't be included in this wheel, obviously. They won't be on this wheel, but... There's a couple of games. So we tried to record a, a SNES roulette a couple days ago, and uh, two, of the, two of the games did not work correctly. So um, Jason has found fixes for me, and they will appear on a future wheel. Um in any event, Cosmo Gang it, let's, 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 let's find out what Cosmo Gang is, because uh, yeah. this is very bonkish looking, but I know it's not from the makers of that, because this is I like the I like your big, dumb, googly eyes. Oh, shit, we're summoning, summoning Satan. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. Um, hey, what the? Uh, oh, this, this is, this uh, is a cute em up game. Oh, shit, it's just Gradius, but cute. Oh. Okay, well then that, that or not Gradius, I'm... uh uh freaking uh Galaga. Which I makes hoping... sense because it's Namco. Yeah. I was hoping this was gonna be like a blood soaked gore game, but no. Gang one two. Not level, not stage, gang. Do you wanna be in my gang, my gang? Daft Punk's so, playing at my house, my house. Yo, check out oh. the freaking DJ dude up top. Oh, shit. Play you, killed the, you killed the DJ and got a power-up. DJ died on the dance floor. Tonight. Listen, I take offense to that. I am a DJ. That <laughs> is my, day, my, my side job, not my day job. My day job is soul-crushing. Because hmm. it's retail. My oh, day job isn't soul-crushing. That's fair. God dang it. This game is rather brutal. Like, I'm noticing how fast these freaking enemies are. Yeah, there's no oops. There's no rapid fire either, so I, I have to, like, tap the button well, to shoot. That's a little, uh, that's a little... You have to, you have to summon your inner mage in Takahashi, man, you know? 
Get that rapid tap going. Boom. Speaking of Japanese sound. Uh, Jace just got back from... Anime Boston. Uh, anime Boston, yeah. yeah. Tell us a little about that, Jace. So, for the second time ever in the con's history, and the first time at its second venue, uh, so for the first two years the con existed, uh, which were the first two years I didn't go, uh, they were at the Boston Park Plaza Hotel. They hit capacity, I think, the second year, and that was when they graduated to the Heinz Convention Center. Mm. And this is the first year ever in their history that they have hit capacity at the Heinz Convention Center. Let me tell you something. At that convention center, were they trying to catch up? Ha <laughs> uh, um, They, they I could not say, catch America's, up. It's America's convention. Yes. They, they could not catch up because of the <laughs> fact that... Uh, it was impossible to get into uh, panels. Like they, like that's because you have to tap the side of the building where it says fifty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, just, it, it felt that way. It felt that way. Because of the fact that uh, you know oh. some some panel rooms, like the panels, just weren't popular enough, and uh, other panel rooms were so popular that like you know people, the line was cut off, the room was p filled to capacity. Shit. And, uh, but like, okay, so like, I went to a meet and greet with a VTuber, which, uh, was an interesting experience because, you know, it, it was like two cameras on me. And don't then, know like, what that meant. Freaking... <laughs> I don't know what that, uh, what I just spun there, but it was 30 points, whatever it was. And, and, uh, and a gigantic TV screen with the VTuber on it. It's, uh, very weird to be in a situation like that. It's like, uh, I, I I know what it's like to be on camera. I know what it's like to be the one being mo for a VTuber, but like to chat with a VTuber, it's like, this is very unusual. <laughs> uh, but because of that, I missed the first half of one of the concerts, uh, the opening act, uh, which was uh, Baby Beard, unfortunately. Oh. Which they underestimated how popular Baby Beard was going to be. Mm -hmm. Baby Beard underestimated how popular they were going to be. They didn't bring enough merch to sell. So they sold out of merch real quick, is what you're saying? Yep. Apparently, they sold out like day one of the con. Yikes. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, ballroom was packed for Baby Beard, apparently, at about half of that ballroom cleared out when the actual main act of that concert took the stage, Kaya and Hizaki, probably because the people who are fans of Kaya and Hizaki are older otaku who remember those bands. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing because yesterday It's a funny I was, thing. I messaged Jace I was because I was doing a uh, freaky zone joke. You want to see something strange and mystical? And Jace just sent me like videos of the uh, the concert that he was at. It's like I, I don't I don't understand what twenty six of these words are. Uh, it's funny because Lotus Juice was rapping in English. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dane, yeah. Dane, Dane doesn't grasp English very well. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> the uh, yeah, I, saying, I barely, I barely grasp English. You, you grasp anything else? But, like the the funny thing is, is actually like uh, the the Lotus Juice concert. So that was booked back to back with the other concert, but in the convention hall. So you had to mad dash from the hotel into the convention all the way up to the top floor of the con and there was a line to get into that freaking room for that concert which of course capacity was capped for um concert was already going on missed that opening act don't care saw that guy back in 2012 when he was at anime boston that year Apparently, he's good friends with Lotus Juice because Lotus Juice called him out with his backing band to do two cover songs at the very end. Uh, Diddy's version of uh, 
of uh, freaking uh, uh, what I'll be missing fuck? you. I'll be missing you. Yeah, and then uh, walk this way. Which both of those I did not expect from Lotus Juice. I know he's a rapper, but I did not see either of those two covers coming. <laughs> it was just like, this is insane. Like, I know he's the dude who did like music for JoJo and like Persona, and here he is like covering Diddy and Run DMC. <laughs> it, it was, it was certainly something. And my phone died during that concert, so I tried to record a little bit of it using the 3DS, only to realize, oh yeah, the 3DS has a shit camera. And then people are coming up to me after the freaking concert. Yo, did you pull out a 3DS to record video? And I'm like, yeah. Yo, that was so awesome, dude! I'm like, oh, thanks. Does <laughs> <laughs> like, any, any, any ladies want to do me? or? <laughs> 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 like, you know, like I, I, I've, I've been joking around all weekend about the 3DS is not dead. Bring back Street Pass. Street Pass is still important because it was one of the cooler features of that handheld. Like, you know, the fact that you could bring the thing anywhere and, you know, randomly get these notifications that other people nearby were playing similar games and it would swap data back and forth. You know, it was, it was a cool little feature. So I still bring it to conventions and it does that. And, you know, you get the little messages. I've been playing, you know, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I've been playing, you know, thumb up the Ooh, butt. I don't 10, know. 10,000 like, points. Ooh, nice. Thumb up the Thumb up the butt. That's my yeah. favorite 3DS. I, I prefer the I, know, uh, right? I prefer Thumb Up the Butt 64, the one that came out in 1997. <laughs> uh -huh. well, yeah, see, no, Mike, this, this was the Mike 3D secretly remake. Wants, Mike secretly wants 64 thumbs up his butt. That's really what it's all about. That's <laughs> yes. That's honestly true. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or am I? No. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> oh, or am I? Oh, as yeah. it turns out, I am. Um, what, what was that giant face? I, I told you tongue? it's Lie, Lie, Lie oh. by Serge Tankian. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, the, the weird power up there. The, I, I don't the know. Clown face? Like Jack in the box know. thing? It's Randy, I don't even fucking know. It's Randy Pitchford. Oh, hey, Randy. <laughs> Randy Pitchford. Yeah. I love, a good, I love a good joke. Here? I mean, for fuck's sake, I own the Duke Nukem franchise. The hey. Duke Duke Duke. <laughs> mm. So, uh, yeah. Uh, too bad Billy ate around. I'd be, like, flaunting uh, all the Kamen Rider gizmos and, and what's-its that ah. I bought. You guys lose did... it some what's-its galore? Yeah, no, I, I did some you retail therapy. You want thingamabobs? Therapy. I got uh, 20. <laughs> I did uh, retail therapy because my car engine died literally the week before the convention. And I was like, lucky for me, I had a shit ton of money from a bunch of overtime that I worked. But at the same time, it was just like, you know, I shouldn't be spending this money, but screw it. I'm going to spend some money. <laughs> And there was a booth that actually had stuff at decent prices minus shipping because I was there at the con. So it was like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, you know, there are costumes I plan on making. I might as well invest ah. now. Do you know what I mean? Don't know what uh, I mean. Don't know so, what I mean. So if we're Billy were here, I'd be going, hey, hey, Billy, Billy. Press button on gadget. <laughs> hey, Billy, Billy. You do. You do, Billy. Yeah, you know, and then and then you know have the microphone cut off because that's that's what it does on Discord. Can't say because Discord. <laughs> At least it's not Skype. I listen to. Oh, but yeah. I've been listening to old metal casts because I've been getting them prepared uh, prep to be aired on the channel and. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, Skype in the old days was shit. Yeah, and I wish we had the features on Discord now that we had back then, because I w we would have mained the Discord for pretty much the last like three years of the Metal Cast, because goddamn, so much better. Discord now is better than Discord or Skype then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, screw it. I am gonna play around with this little gadget just because it's fun to hear the freaking sound effect. 
Let's see if this actually uh, picks up my, on the mic. I need my Pornhub sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Why, do, Dragon why does your why does your toy sound like Emily when she gets on the microphone at Billy's house? <laughs> <laughs> I know this is I know this so, is not what it said, but it really sounded like what? <laughs> go, go, go. Like, what? <laughs> go go gadget <laughs> penis. <laughs> Bakuage paya. Go go go. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. That is the voice of Ash Ketchum from Japan, who is voicing the robot and transformation device in the current Sentai in Japan, Bakuage Sentai Boom Boonger. Sure. Uh, I yeah. Know. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know, I don't know what that means. Because uh, Boom Boom is supposed to be the sound of a engine instead of Vroom Vroom, it's Boom Boom in Japan. Oh, like JR's ass. <laughs> JR's ass goes boom boom. <laughs> boom boom. Hey, 30,000 points. Yeah. What about boom boom? Let me hear you say whale. Whale. <laughs> boom boom. You motherfuckers say whale. Whale. Wow, this I'm already on area four. I'm already in Area 4. I've been just... Girl, your booty is so round. Let me look you up and down. <laughs> Blazing my well. this game. It's a shame I gotta stop. Thoughts on Cosmo Gang the video, Dane? Um, cutie, cutie mups or whatever they're called. It's very, fairly inoffensive. It was kind of like a little repetitive after a while, but it wasn't a total shit show. It didn't make me want to punch a baby. So I guess... It, that's a, that's a plus. Yeah, that's a, that is a plus, Jason. Like, what if, what if you took uh, Twin Bees aesthetic or or uh, uh, Fantasy Zone, uh, if 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 you're a Sega fan, and applied it to uh, Galaga, you get Cosmo Gang. Yeah, and my God, it is baby's first shmup like this with the exception of the fact that the enemies seemed like they were on crack cocaine with how fast they moved like you know like it, it seemed like you were really slow and they were like freaking Meow. it's almost You're too slow. if i want if i could put two games together to make this one it would probably be uh galaga and uh parodius <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of this Which game. Which Parodius does fit into that cute 'em up subgenre yeah. of shoot 'em ups. So yeah, it is it, very, it, it is very Bobby's first shoot 'em up. Uh, it's not a not a surprise that it didn't come out here. Uh, I don't know that would have received been received very well here because there's a thousand games like it. Um, but for what it's worth, it's done competently. It's still fun to play. You get lost in there easily. Like I said, I didn't realize I was already up to Area 4 by the time we got to the point where we had to stop. But, um, yeah. The, but good enough for me. Scores out of 10, Dane. Six. Jason. Seven. I'm also going to go seven. As good as I can give it. All right. Uh, let us... Maybe that's as good as... Spin this bad mofo again. <laughs> oh, Ooh. interesting. Okay. I well, I can't tell what it is because I haven't seen. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. I have oh, this cartridge it... complete in box with uh, instruction manual. And it's in stereo too. Somehow. Oh to... my God, Luke Skywalker! What the fuck happened to your face? Also, also apparently, Jay, oh, also oh. apparently, Jace saw what it was before I even switched the screen over. <laughs> are we, are we going to just ignore Luke Skywalker? Um, apparently well, had a stroke, and he has Jr. face. Oh. No, like I recognized it from the like intro because I played this game and no i meant before. even before i lay uh i loaded the game you you knew what it was somehow 
I could hear the like I I recognized it. Somebody please. How can you recognize a game sound when the game hasn't even been loaded into my program? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll just let you two. Argue. I don't know why, but like maybe there was a bit of a lag or something. But like I freaking. I was like, Hello. No, nobody gives a shit what I have to say. Shut the fuck up, no Dane. <laughs> hey. Oh, now, now you fucking. Now you Self fucking important. Shit. No. <laughs> yeah, hey. A new hoe. Because that's what you are. <laughs> I'm a what? A new, it is a period a of ho. civil war. I hope they brought tampons or pads. Hmm. <laughs> Rebel spaceships striking from a hidden base have won their first victory against the evil galactic empire. During this battle, rebel spies managed to steal secret plans to the empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star, an armored dun, dun, dun. space station with enough power to destroy an entire planet. Pursued by the empire's sinister agents, Princess Leia races home aboard her starship, custodian of the stolen plans that can save her people and restore freedom to the galaxy. Custodian? What, she's a janitor? Yeah. What kind of princess is a janitor? Princess Leia, apparently. Princess Margaret. Oh. <laughs> now, that's actually, uh, uh, in the book from a certain point of view, the people writing the wills, canonically, the people writing the story of Star Wars are the wills. W H I L L S. I played the and uh, wheels. Yeah, and uh, they're arguing. Uh, and in the audiobook version, it's people imitating Mark Hamill and George Lucas's voices, and, <laughs> and it's hilarious because, like, it's just like custodian. What? She's a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi there. It's me, George Lucas. Um... You better watch your fucking mouth, because uh, everything that I wrote is flawless. And uh, if you have anything negative to say, I will kill you. I mean, let's face it, the prequels actually do seem considerably better than the sequels, you know, because they actually at least be. had a cohesive narrative. Yeah. When when you actually put out a movie and have to start off with a mulligan, you know, with with just pointless expository dialogue, somehow Palpatine returned. I'm I'm sorry, like dead to me. You know, I feel very bad for Star Wars fans. Because I, I knew, you knew everyone wanted to love these uh, 7, 8, and 9. But I, I feel like Star Wars has divided itself into crybabies who just want wah, 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 extended universe, OP characters of the originals in, you know, don't ruin our childhoods. You know, and, and then just people who want good, solid fiction. And there's also the people, there's no black stormtroopers. I'm yeah, no, racist. There's... Star Wars is going woke. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck so, up. So what? So Lando Calrissian gets a pass, but not the not the black stormtrooper. Yeah. Now, like, I, I love how a lot of the shit for this video game was just made up. Like, those are supposedly Womp Rats. They always look like gremlins. I mean, like, I don't think we've ever seen in Star Wars what a womp rat actually looks like. We just know that Luke used to bullseye them in his T-16 in Beggar's Canyon, and they're about as big as a thermal exhaust port. Hmm. That's all. You know, my question that is... That is bigger is... than a thermal exhaust port. They're as my big question... as him. My question is, what is that skeleton in the background? What the hell died? Crate dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, those, that was actually in the background, I believe. Penis worm. Original. Yep, random worm, random scorpions. If 
I wanted to see sandworms. I just watched Doom. It's funny because years later we would get uh, in the Knights of the Old Republic game an actual fight against a crate dragon. And then years after that, we would actually get to see a fight against a crate dragon because they were thought to be mythical. But it actually happens in the Book of Boba Fett. Wow. Speaking of mythological vocal fights, the uh, latest Godzilla x King Kong movie apparently did Boku Bucks. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I heard it's pretty fun. It's It's basically just like... Godzilla is like Brock Lesnar and King Kong is like Kratos. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, just just kaiju wrestling with pointless humans being annoying with expository dialogue. And then basically so just big battle. Kaiju big battle. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Mike, what happened? Sorry, I'm adjusting a couple things. <laughs> Adjusting his crotch. <clears throat> Trying to get Luke to stop blinking, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I don't know. The, the game can be kind of thankfully, glitchy thankfully we're uh, thankfully but... we're in uh, sixty frames a second, so it shouldn't matter. What was going to say? Certain accoutrements sometimes uh, can glitch out uh, the mm. graphics. Like uh, I was actually turning some of them off. <laughs> oh mm. Christ. Oh Not boy, the Sarlacc pit, pit monster. I totally remember that in the first movie. It's just a big vagina. I'll just thermo detonate it to death. I you know, love if how you settle that many, you you that many nuclear it bombs. faster than the health bar could move. Yeah. <laughs> if you set off that many nuclear bombs, all you're going to do is cause nuclear winter. That's not yeah. good. Over here, hey, hey, help, please help. It's, it's a purple, it's a trupo. It's Kipo. It's totally how it happened in the movie. My counterpart, Rizdiz, has been caused, captured by Jawas. Not Rizdiz. <laughs> we must find Somebody him. needs to save Rizdiz. Oh, this is terrible. This is so terrible. Oh, my. Oh, my. Prepare for mode seven. Oh, oh. oh. I move sideways yep. so you don't have T to. T time, time to shoot Jawas. Oof. Ooh, yep. Ooh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Seriously, it's my favorite part of this game. Shooting Jawas. <laughs> Just to hear that. <laughs> I don't care if that makes me a horrible person. <laughs> It's just, just that noise anywhere. Like you could put it in like a Disney movie. You could put it in your 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 grandma Schmagugan's funeral. It'll make me laugh. Everybody, uh, please bow your heads in prayer for uh, our fallen grandmother. Oh, Didi. <laughs> oh, grandma would have loved that. And you're all laughing hysterically as, uh, as her casket gets lowered into the ground. It's, uh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I was going to say, uh, Ooh, 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 Titi. You just you just so happened to have that uh, sound bite all set to go, didn't you? No, I literally just found it. Interesting. It's just like uh, th thankfully a lot of Star Wars sound effects are pretty easy to find. Um, another uh, one that I can just kind of pull up on the fly. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be that one. Yeah, no, I could even find, like, the freaking uh, uh, Millennium Falcon dying noise. You know, the the one like, all right, Chewie, let's punch it. And then, like, the Millennium Falcon just, you know, shits out. <laughs> shits out of Jawa. 
<laughs> All right, Chewie, punch it. Oh, I'm David Chewie, you flooded it. <laughs> uh, I never knew. I know never to trust these foreign cars. All right, now just go to the set. Okay, to the right. 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 Your other right. There you go. It's now straight. <sighs> Endlessly forward. Endlessly forward. Jesus, the, these Jawas are just throwing. Yeah, no, they're they're a bunch of assholes. They want your robot. Just keep going forward. Pay no attention to them. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. They want Just you to be happy. Them. Oh my god, it's a Jawa drive by. Oh, Teddy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>, motherfucker. <laughs> That's literally what it is. They, they freaking, they're scavengers. They take droid parts and they resell them. And they are shameless. They will, they are the kind of people who will. You know, if this was, if Jawas were on Earth, they would cut off your catalytic converter and then sell it back to you. Oh, those sons of bitches. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a while. Just keep going. Come on, you go. We're nearly a third of the way there. Uh, if you blow up one of those upright thingies, sometimes it drops uh, fuel. Uh, for your jets, so you can go faster too. Oh, um, is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, I am out of fuel. I just thought the New York Jets were. Uh... Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's bad. If you press down, you can actually like fly up into the air a little bit too. <laughs> we. Are you even getting closer? Or it seems like an optical illusion. Uh, it's kind of just an optical illusion, but it'll it'll register. <sighs> you would hope. It, it it seriously does take a while. I swear, C three PO, we're out of gas. Hey, trust me. This is way better than the freaking uh, 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 land speeder uh, part in uh, Return of the Jedi. That mm -hmm. is way harder. And that is like one of the first things in the game. At least the music's good because it's chocolate. Don't get penis. Don't get penisy, kid. <laughs> what sucks is that there's like a unlock everything code that like if you're really fast at pressing buttons on controller two i think uh like it's got level <laughs> select character select uh, you can choose the number of lives you have. Uh, you ever want to play as Darth Vader? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so like, yeah, you can give Luke the lightsaber before he uh, he gets it in the game. Um, you can give them uh, give him the plasma blaster, which of course, uh, like, plasma blaster is best gun in the game. Once you have plasma blaster, it's like, <laughs> y'all are dead. Um, I'm really starting to suspect there's something wrong here. Because, like, you've been going towards the sand crawler for like. A yeah, I'm wondering years. about that too, actually, because I've never had this problem before, too. Are the accoutrements fucking up the. the I think the accoutrements are screwing up well, the mode that 7 sucks. mode. Well, that's weird. I don't. I don't know which one I it could possibly remember. be. I don't recall. <clears throat> I 
Beans? Yeah, I don't know what which one it could possibly be that's messing it up. So we 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 need to combine the Jawas and the robotic bull pingas. St- uh, thoughts on Super Star Wars, Dane? Mm. Star Wars games can either be really good or really bad. This one, I mean, from the very little that you played, it seemed like it was all right. Then again, I'm not really a Star Wars kind of person, so maybe I'm a little biased. Jason. You know, when I was a kid, this was a pick up and die game because it is a very You pick it up and then you die. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But the thing is, is that um, you get better as like you learn to gauge your jumps. You learn to look before you leap, uh, you know, and you learn that it is not as, uh, you know, willy nilly as say a... uh, like it, it is not as a run and gun like a Contra or a Mega Man, you know. It is it is not a cinematic platformer like a Prince of Persia, but you know it's it's its own thing. Um, I'd I'd say that the first one is good. Um, maybe that's nostalgia goggles, you know that that put it. I'd I'd say Empire is probably the best of the three of them, possibly. But I, who knows? I mean. <laughs> uh yeah it's a classic platforming game uh crossed with a bunch of other stuff uh star the star wars the super star wars games are always uh, a lot of fun um sometimes very difficult but uh, uh usually usually still a lot of fun uh scores out of 10 dane five jason seven I'm going to give it a six. Six. One last game this episode. Let's see what we're playing. All right, what did we land on, Jace? I don't know. Uh, Chameleon twist. Um, <laughs> a. Snowboard kids. Wrong, wrong console. B, we've played that. <laughs> a. It was a joke. B. Shut up. Sky Mission. Oh, so this is a Japanese Sky one. Sky titties. I mean, what? You, you Sky can tell it's a Japanese game because it says Namcon. Longer than a month. Excuse me one second. Uh-huh. Okay. Sky mission in the kitchen finger lakers. Time to take on the uh, Red Baron. Select your pilot. Marcella Blanc, Sean Maloney, John Hargreaves, Charlie Dexter, or Lawrence Wolf. Well, this guy has my mother's maiden name, so Wolf it is. All right. Sweat soaked and tense with adrenaline, spelled wrong. An huh. enemy plane fills your sights. He'll never know what hit him. Is this, a, is this Top Gun style? No. No. Well, kind of. Ish. So apparently, this did come out on the Amiga in North America as Wings. Oh yeah, this is yeah. This is not a. This was not an American. Ooh. Well. But, yeah. Uh, the Wright brothers are going to be mad at me. <clears throat> that killed him? All right. Yep. Aw, oh, man. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> All right. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mixed response from critics. Criticized for its short length and lacking gameplay, praised for graphics and soundtrack sense of thrill, 70% score on game rankings. Uh, Famitsu found the game to lack the freedom that other combat flight simulation games have. Family Computer Magazine criticized its controls for being awkward. Now we're overhead for some reason? I don't... 
Oh, uh, this might be a bombing mission? Oh. Um, Famitsu also criticized its gameplay for being too simplistic and its shooting mechanics monotonous. Enforce Magazine stated that the game was too short and lacking in gameplay, only recommending it to fans of flight sims. German Magazine Power Play was much more negative. <laughs> Uh, mockingly commenting its variety could only be seen with a pair of binoculars while criticizing its high difficulty and short length. GamePro claimed the enemy planes cheated through unrealistic movements that were impossible for planes at the time, while also disliking the music for drowning out the sound effects. All right. Intelligence reports a truck is moving up ammunition for their next push. Your best chance is to destroy it when it's crossing the river. I'm, I'm surprised somebody again. went through the pain of uh, translating this. Uh, the game was produced by Ken Law. Son of a bitch. This isn't even a translation. It's just in English. Like the actual oh, yeah, game, no, the original it was. game is it in was English. Yeah, it was developed by Malibu Interactive for Namco, apparently. Yeah, and only released in Japan. For some reason, in English. Well, yeah, because it was made by Ken Lobb. Well, he dead. You know, the guy who uh, they named a gun after. Yeah. Co-creator of Killer Instinct. Music Can't get by... overconfident. This bloke might be good. All right. The... Music by the Fat Man. I, I did not do the music for this game. No, I mean like the guy's nickname is the Fat Man, George Sanger. Uh, video game composer known for working on the Seventh Guest, Wing Commander, Hard Nova, Maniac Mansion on the NES, Loom, Tux Racer. And zombies ate my neighbors. No! Among others. Oh, you broke it. Well, yeah, so no wonder this music is actually really good. <clears throat> I'm down to two people now. Oh, this is a World War One era thingamajigger? Two of them. Yep. All the better to run up my score. <sighs> yep, a Western produced World War One flight sim that was made for Japan and then re released on Amiga computers, apparently. Hmm. Uh, produced by Ken Lobb, co creator of Killer Instinct. Uh -huh. Music by the Fat Man. Peter Griffin? <laughs> hey, Lois, I'm going to go score Sky Mission now. <laughs> okay, Peter. Well, the Fat Man is the nickname of George Sanger, the uh, composer for a bunch of games, including Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I'm really bad at this game. It's okay. It seemed like the reviewers of the time were also bad at it, too. Charlie Dexter can outmaneuver, outmaneuver a hawk, except when I'm controlling him. Then he can't outmaneuver a centipede. What about a millipede? Uh, it's a hundred times worse. Oh dear. <laughs> we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose World War One. You, you realize that? I need this map carefully. Oh, this overhead again? Yep. Yeah, it seems like the uh, the gameplay style just decides to change depending on the mission. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I think that was the bridge you had to blow up. Uh, yep. I don't know what you think you were doing up there, mister, but this isn't fly school. Get back up there and complete your mission. Foul up again, you'll be scrubbing floors. I want there to be a scrubbing hey, floors. Hey, I'm fine. I'm on your side. I want there to be a scrubbing <laughs> floors minigame if I fail this again. I would, I would, I would laugh my balls. This game would immediately get a 10. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Come on. Ah. Son of a bitch. I dropped a whole shitload of bombs. It didn't work. Hope you're proud of yourself. Your poor performance has earned you a dishonorable discharge. Link back to the hole you came from. Dismissed. The aerodrome is an empty sea of mud. Of the squadron only, the rotting hulks of wrecked, wrecked planes remain. The utter defeat of a squadron. Please try again. Game over. Uh, no, I, sir. I don't think I will. This, uh, this game is kind of looks nice. Jesus! This game is kind of Jesus! It is kind of, it's, it's also kind of Buddha. Yeah, this this game is kind of... This game is kind of Pingus. I'm done with the, uh, score, uh, Thoughts on Sky Mission, Dane. Well... Seems very, the controls seem very wacky. Very, uh, blah. It looks visually nice, but as Jay said, apparently all the reviewers at the time seemed to have a problem with it, so. I do like how Namco is spelled two different ways on the screen there. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're right. I'm assuming that the T just stands for the technologies. Or it's uh it's a uh, it's where you go to sleep in uh, Phnom Penh, a Nam cot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, Dane misfired. <laughs> it's not, it's not uh, thoughts, on, thoughts on the game, Jason? Yeah, I mean. The music's pretty. It looks nice. Looks like it controls worse than freaking diarrhea, though. I mean, God, if this game, like, if this game sounded like it freaking played, it would sound like. Shit mission. <laughs> That's you scrubbing wait, the floors. Wait, wait. Once for the bulk. Once for the remainder. the remainder. Anyway, yeah, this is a shitty game with shitty controls and a shitty plot and shitty plot holes. And why am I singing? Well. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you're, well, I mean, World War One was a shitty time. You're right. It was a shitty time. A lot of people uh, died. Huh. Okay, so now I know why it's called Namcot. Namcot was their subsidiary for consoles established in 1984. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. That was a lot more interesting than this game. Yeah. Anyway, there's a T, and it's Japanese, even though it's in English. I'm telling you, please. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. I'm going to give this game a big fat two, because it's not a Christian or a Jew. Jason, what do you <laughs> give this game? Uh, I give it a duty, and not my toe. I think I'll give it the same. So that's two, two, two. So it's game, straight poo-poo. 
<laughs> Straight poo poo. So on this show, we played Cosmo, whatever the video. Uh, Cosmo Gang. Mission. Cosmo Gang, the video. Super Star Wars and Sky Mission, best game of the episode, Dane. Um, by default, I'm going to say Super Star Wars. Jason. The two greatest words in the English language. Default. Default. Star Wars. Default. Yep, Super Star Wars is the winner. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Uh, we're one away from 69 subscribers, guys. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, that's where we win. Nice. Yeah. Of course, it might be more than that by the time this airs. I don't know. But, but at the time we're recording this, yeah. In any event, uh, thanks for joining us. For Dane Fort Jones and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.